Okay. So Joel, what is next for Literature for Life? What we're going to be doing in the summer, we're going to have an event to raise some money because this program does cost money. We buy books, we, we hire really good facilitators who are poets themselves, like Motion and Gemini. Jay Wise works for us. And so we want to be able to expand our programming. So the next event will be in the, in the summer. But what we are trying to do is by September, we want to be able to open up five more groups. That's oh, wow. great. That's awesome. Yeah, and each group will be publishing their own anthology. That's the plan. Oh, thank you. That's so like five other Hollywood are like, Yeah, oh, we'll have to call so them um, cool. horror. We have to change the name. say words, <laughs> truth be told, okay. that's what's up, straight up. <laughs> okay, I'm bringing you in here. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So Whitney, would you consider writing a form of therapy for yourself? Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. I was writing before I even came here. Mm -hmm. um, I always write. For me, like even when I'm going through something like very stressful, very emotional, I wake up at three in the morning and I get anxiety. The first thing that I do is I reach for my pen and my pad. Like that. That's essential for me. Um, and I see it work with other people as well. Like I, I, I work uh, in education. Like I work with like uh, smaller kids, um, middle aged. Uh, middle school kids and like youth as well mm -hmm. and honestly like sometimes we don't even know what's coming out of us you know like it's deep in the subconscious and as soon as you put like a pencil to the paper and you start writing and the person kind of gets like, funny and you can like laugh at yourself but when you really get into the flow of things mm -hmm. and you realize that there is somebody that's there to support your writing and that they're that you're in an environment where it's safe to let go of these things that you're not willing to speak about but you're willing to write about that's when like the writing really becomes a therapeutic tool for sure. So I use therapy and I've seen other people like truly benefit from just writing and getting out like like deep emotions, like things from their past, their history, like things that they want in the future. And they don't even realize that they vocalize it to themselves. That's the thing about writing, you're writing to yourself. Like I have all these notebooks in my room and like I just found um, a notebook from like 2009 like I was talking to my 2009 self and I responded to it and I'm like did you really know you would be here 2009 with me and that kind of thing so those are the best ones yeah no and at this, then at one point you're like laughing at yourself you're like oh my gosh I'm so right like this but at the same time it's like I was really down like I really didn't think I was going to continue writing I didn't want to be a writer after this like I went through whatever whatever and then you go back and be like look how far I've come you know and you know, you're laughing at the writing quality, but then you're also looking at the quality now, and you're like, okay, this is progress. So what would either of you guys say to any young women, or anybody who wanted to be a, a, become a part of a Literature for Life program? Come join us. Or, okay, let me reword that. How <laughs> exactly would they get involved in if one of the programs? Um, well, they can check our website, and they can phone the office, and, um, talk to myself for tomorrow, mm -hmm. and if there's a group nearby, we'll direct you to it. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing I want to tell the women is to learn to use your voice, and use it effectively, because that's what's going to make the difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, um, the women's the circle that we did, we have a blog called Women's Words, Zeds, and we have this section, like we, we you know, uh, profile like some of the work that we've done, uh, profile events like this one, but uh, we also have a section called Free Write, and this is this section is probably the most colorful section because it's not just our girls from the writing group writing, it's like people from like you know all over the city, all over the country. Like we have some people from the states and like some people from the UK, like writing in response. Like and the Free Write is just like it's whatever's at the top of your head. And some people do a Free Write on top of someone else's Free Write, and then you just kind of scroll down, you see all this like. Like this, this repertoire of like women's words, like all these women's voices from all over. So even if you like, definitely like check out literature for life. But even if you just like a really quick fix, go on the womenswords.wordpress.com and uh, check out free rate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, the one thing about the women's words too, it's it's a way of building community for women to come together of all of all nationalities, races, backgrounds. Because we do share a common experience as women. And I think sometimes we forget that. Mm -hmm. So it's important that we remember, especially this is International Women's Day, we need to know, we need to celebrate ourselves. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, we do very different. Oh, definitely.
Thank you guys so much. Thank you. All right, thank you.